Hey, this is Luke with the Android Guys Podcast. I'm here with Scott. Hi, Luke. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Hey, that's the more important question, right? Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Good. Uh, we are talking about MVNOs. Yes. Uh, mobile virtual operating networks. Nope. Nope. Network operators. <laughs> there you go. Um, these are alternatives to kind of the main carriers mm -hmm. uh, that we know. So these are options for people who maybe you've had uh, a T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T for a while, and you're you're not using maybe all the features that they offer. And they you say, hey, what else is there? What else can I do? Well, these are uh, inflationary times. Yes. And a lot of people are looking to save a few bucks where they can. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, these types of carriers are a great way to do that. Right. You know, every five to ten dollars per phone line or per month can really add up. Yeah. You know, when you're you're shopping. Mm -hmm. So these network operators provide alternatives that you know there are some trade offs. They're going to be less expensive, but are they going to have differences that are noticeable to you? Right. So there are going to be some things such as some self reliance. You know, not all of these carriers have a retail store. Right. So if you're used to going into a store to talk to a rep or to pick out your phone, you know, prepare for that to be different. Mm -hmm. Or if you're used to being able to travel around the world and text and use your phone internationally and data and, you know, you have maybe some perks in there included for mobile hotspot or something like that. Those are things that you may not get. Yeah, you might get an included streaming service with your yeah your mobile bill. And then another thing to consider is you know when it comes to these networks. Now we're at five G. Not mm -hmm. all of the carriers that we profile like this have five G connectivity or support. Sure. But more importantly, these are carriers who may not be prioritized when it's. Uh, busy period or a congested area sure they the carriers that provide the service or the networks they will prioritize that for the tier one subscribers mm -hmm. so these mobile virtual network operators do use the service or the towers from the big players but in certain times you may not get the same speeds right that you're used to because it was kind of prioritized for the tier one carrier or uh, consumers right so today we're talking about text now yeah so we've come up with kind of seven questions seven mm -hmm. things that you would need to know uh to kind of give you an idea of what does text now offer and why it might work for you yeah uh so we'll just we'll get right into it um like we said these mvnos use one of the carriers, the big carriers uh, network, and you get service through that. Uh, it's through text now, but you're using another carrier's towers. Mm -hmm. uh, what network does text now use, Scott? So it actually uses T-Mobile for cellular connectivity for okay. uh, phone calls and data. However, we'll get into a little bit deeper here. They tend to prefer one of the options for rate plans actually is okay. it is a Wi-Fi only mm. kind of call. So you're not actually using T-Mobile in this instance. So I'll, I'll, I'll dive into that. But where you do have service that uses a tower uh -huh. or data, this is going to be through T-Mobile. Okay. Uh, and then uh, if you need to have um, – you want to sign up for service, so you got a problem, you need to talk to a representative about your service with mm -hmm. TextNow. Can you go into a, a TextNow store? No, there are no TextNow locations. Okay. It's going to be online, kind of self sufficient. Now you're going to find there are some frequently asked questions, some support pages. Sure. An 800 number. You can usually find through different forums online. You can usually find a, some kind of uh, answer to your question without having to jump through too many hoops. Okay. But no, there, it, there is no, uh, it is a virtual carrier only. Mm -hmm. So you cannot go in there to complain to a representative or to shop for a phone, for instance. Okay. Uh, so if, uh, if I am shopping for a phone mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I decide I want to go with text now. Uh, do they offer phones if I wanted to purchase one? So they do not. Okay. They have an agreement or an arrangement. They've kind of partnered with Swappa, which is one of the, the best uh, secondary markets right. for cell phones, smartphones, and other devices. Mm-hmm. So you can go there, but you can also uh, purchase your phone outright from a phone maker. Okay. Or a retailer. Sometimes you'll find you can go in there and pick up a phone at Best Buy. Um, you know, or if you've got a phone that, uh, you know, you already have. But right. if you're looking to shop for a phone to answer your question, they do not sell them directly. But their website will hand you off to Swappa. Okay. Which is kind of a place to purchase phones that are, you know, gently used or sure. mint condition, whatever condition. Okay. So that does answer... Kind of another question we have is, can I use my existing device? The answer is probably yeah. yes, right? Yeah. So it is, uh, they do have a place you can go to check to see if it's compatible because it's T-Mobile, it's GSM. So that's going to be your, uh, you know, your generally unlocked phones. Uh-huh. If you have a T-Mobile phone or AT&T, even that may be compatible. If you've purchased it from the phone maker itself, you can check that. Uh, and you can also, you know, if you've purchased your phone, paid for it outright, somewhere along the lines, it should be unlocked. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can check to see if that will be compatible with it through their website. Okay. So if I decide, you know, text now sounds interesting. What kind of rate plans do they offer if I wanted service? So this is an interesting one and it's a little bit different than other carriers. Okay. It, you Basically, it's an app that you kind of put on your device mm. and you log in and you have two options. There is free and there is a $10 plan per okay. month. So for free, this is for Android or iPhone devices, you get unlimited uh, nationwide talk and text for free. And that is Wi-Fi. Interesting. And it is also ad supported. So you will see ads ah. within the app. Uh, so you're going to have the occasional advertisement pop up, notifications on your phone. Okay. So you're kind of subsidizing the cost by doing it that way. Okay. So if you're somebody who says, hey, you know, I don't even really use my phone other than to make emergency phone calls. Mm-hmm. I don't even really power it on unless I'm camping and then I don't have something where, I, you know, where I'm at. Um, or if I just need to, you know, get something for I've got an old phone and I'm giving it to my kids sure for intramurals and I know that you know after school they can as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi they can they can call me contact right. me text me so that's their free plan okay they also have a plan for ten dollars a month where basically it is an ad support it's well I shouldn't say ad supported uh, it gets rid of the ads and you get you um, it's it's nine ninety nine a month, and that gives you the ability to uh, make your unlimited calls, texts, and it also uses uh, T Mobile for that. Okay. Uh, they do offer data. Mm. You, you can get a la carte uh, for nine dollars. You can add a gigabyte of data. Okay. Sixteen dollars for two gigabytes, so about eight dollars. For twenty bucks, you can get three gigabytes of data. Okay, and then for twenty eight, you can get five gigabytes. So nothing too high. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a carrier that's more for the uh, emergency purposes, minimal needs. I don't have, uh, you know, I'm not going to be streaming YouTube videos. I'm not sure. going to be watching Netflix while I'm out and about. I, you know, tend to live on Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. You know, so. That would be a good option for some people. Uh, okay. So zero dollars and ten dollars is really about all you're looking at. Okay. Uh, just a couple more questions. Then is that that a la carte data? Is that five G? Is that high speed? It is not. It's well, it's still a fast speed. It's four G sure. okay. LTE. So comparatively, you know, speaking, it's not five G. Right. So it's still going to be a higher speed mm-hmm. uh, that you can add. Um, for your data. Okay. And then last, uh, you know, if this sounds good, uh, is there any kind of special deals that they have? So when you look at their website, there, there's really not a lot that you can, you know, it's very bare bones in terms of service and rate plans. Right. Uh, same thing with special deals. It's, you know, 
kind of the the swapa thing is kind of like a partnership through them okay but i i looked and i didn't see anything that says hey if you came here through um you know through the carrier through text now that there's some kind of a discount right i think the prices are still the same as if you were going to purchase the phone from you know from the seller anyways okay so yeah that's kind of our our overview of text now i think the thing that sticks out to me the most is this is one of the only MVNOs that has an option that's free. Yeah. So, like, truly, when you're, you're thinking about your needs, mm-hmm. uh, if you spend most of your day or enough of your day around Wi-Fi, this is unlimited calls and text. Yeah. And then your data is through your Wi-Fi anyways. Right. So, this could be a good starter option for families if they want to. You know, start to see how a, a kid might do if they're, sure. you know, if you want to trust them with an older device, you can put the app on there, give them a mm-hmm. phone number. And then when they go to their friend's house, as long as they're connected to Wi-Fi, you could kind of stay in touch with them. Sure. So that and, and even if you are switching over to a, the paid version, you know, ten dollars a month. Yeah, know, it's an easy entry. Is an, Yeah, it's an easy entry point. So, yeah, that's text now uh, or seven things to know about text now. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, no problem. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G A U L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as S Webster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.